What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is a one-on-one -on -one with Sean from Forge JLU. Now, today we got some breaking news, a couple of small minor things, but I'm going to hit on the uh, small minor things and then hit the big topic. One of the small minor things I would say is that Kurt Russell wants to be in Fast and Furious 7. Now, hopefully he's not coming in as a, a good guy because, again, he has that sort of uh, that attitude where you see him as sort of the a boss figure or, or some, sort, some kind of villain, uh, especially in the Fast universe. So hopefully he gets a villain role in that because, again, we have Jason Statham, hopefully Tony Ja, and then um, Kurt Russell would be the, the almighty fucking villain, villainous team to take on uh, Vin Diesel and his crew. Now, the second piece of news that I want to talk about is, of course, the rumor going around by contactmusic.com saying that uh, there's going to be a, a scene in Morocco in Man of Steel 2 where there's going to be a meteor shower, and a meteor is going to crash in Morocco. Uh, supposedly... Um, the crew is supposed to be heading over there just to do some filming in Morocco, but um, this hasn't been, uh, this isn't uh, legitimate news yet. It's still a rumor that's circulating the internet, but again, there's a meteor crash. I'm assuming that it's going to have something to do with kryptonite. Um, what do you guys feel about that? And if it does turn out to be true, then you heard it here, right? Um, the third piece of news I'm going to talk about is something really big, and that's that Bradley Cooper has been cast as Rocket Raccoon. Now, there's a lot of hate going around right now. People are saying, Bradley Cooper can't be Rocket Raccoon. He doesn't even sound like him. Well, Rocket Raccoon really hasn't hit the media, and you really haven't heard any voice work from Rocket Raccoon until recent. And that's on the, the Disney um, XD channel. So, um, besides that, I mean, he featured in with uh, Spider-Man. So, besides that, you never really heard from this guy at all. So, people chill. Relax. You know, Bradley Cooper isn't a bad actor. I think that his voice work can um, tie into um, Rocket Raccoon's um, attitude. If you've seen um, the A Team, what you got? What you got? then you can p pretty much put that together with Rocket Raccoon and imagine Rocket Raccoon saying that. You'll be like, holy shit. Yeah, that works. So, again, give the guy a chance. It's done already. There's nothing you can do. You can either see it or don't see it. Don't over-exaggerate over this. I mean, it's not its not like last week when people were over-exaggerating about Ben Affleck being Batman. This is Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon. It's not like he has to get inside of a rocket, I mean, inside of a raccoon suit and act like he's Rocket Raccoon. It's CGI, just voice work, deal with it. It's minor, just deal with it. So those are my little pieces of news for this week in this one-on-one -on -one session. Guys, if um, if anything, I want you guys to comment on any of the subject things that I, met, uh, that I mentioned, mainly the Rocket Raccoon um, news that just broke. How do you feel about that? Do you like Rocket Raccoon? Do you like his attitude? Do you think that Bradley Cooper is going to turn out to be um, a great Rocket Raccoon as far as his voice? Um, let me know below, guys. And again, um, I, I would really like to see um, this is, I mean, it's really going to be cool seeing Rocket Raccoon and uh, Groot um, really um, on screen and working together. Because if you read the comics, you know these two guys are, are real close. So that's Vin Diesel and Bradley Cooper bouncing things off of each other, and they're real buddies in the in the film. So can't wait to see that, guys. And again, this is Sean from 4GLU, for geeks like you. You just tuned into the one-on-one with Sean. Peace.